Hello everybody and welcome back to another video where today I'm going to be showing you this trail running mech I made. So when I started this little project that I spent like 30 minutes on, I wanted him to be able to run nice and cool. I didn't want him to have thrusters that push him forward. These thrusters are to help him stay level when he's running across bumpy terrain. And I wanted him to be able to run uphill, downhill, all kinds of cool stuff. So let's get straight into that. All right, here we are. This is a, the Exocross modded map. It's a really cool map. I think you guys should check it out. Uh, so let's get straight into the running here. So our little trail bot's going pretty quick. He runs about 56 kilometers an hour on average. Uh, so the way this bot's different from just a normal bipedal running mech, uh, other than him being quite fast, he has those thrusters that help keep him level. So his feet are usually able to reach for the ground. Uh, his knees actually lift higher than they go backwards, which helps a lot when you're on this kind of bumpy terrain. Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do about his feet breaking. It just happens over time from repeatedly bashing them into the ground. Um, but as I was saying, yeah, he lifts his knees higher than they go backwards, which helps a lot when you're running uphill. Another thing he does is based off how steep the terrain is, he's running on, he will lift his legs higher. And that generally helps quite a bit when you're running uphill like this. He stumbles a little bit, but there's, there's nothing I can really do about that on these certain degrees of slopes. Uh, I do want to make him better. I want to give him the ability to jump because I think that'd be really cool. I would like to um, do a, a few other things. I think this guy could be a pretty cool mech walker. I might do like a multiplayer video with him. Um, you guys aren't going to have any more content for me for a few days days maybe like nine or seven i'm moving out of state so it's it's gonna be a little bit rough for a while so don't expect any content anytime soon um that's really all i had to say so enjoy the rest of the video All right, this is a hard part here, so I'm going to repair. Hopefully I can... Oh, I broke my foot. All right, hopefully I can make it up this little ledge. Oh, uh, whatever. I got this. Oh, yes! That was cool. You didn't see that.
Man, he was he's struggling quite a bit here. There we go. Get some first person action. No, something happened. No, oh, we only have one leg. Alright, back in first person, because it's kind of cool. Something went terribly wrong. So we're just gonna pretend that didn't happen. Well, let's just get a little repair here so his feet aren't so broken. Uh, something else I'd like to mention, this is officially the one year anniversary of my YouTube channel and we've already broken 1,000 subscribers. I cannot thank you guys enough. It is truly amazing how far this channel has come and I'd love to see it keep continuing to grow. Yeah, you know what would be really cool? If we could break 2,000 by the end of this year. I think that would be really cool. That'd be pretty epic. So let's let's see if we can get there, guys. So like and subscribe if you guys have enjoyed the video or if you think this is cool or you'd like to see more. 
leave a comment if you have any ideas on how to improve this guy if you got any tutorials you'd like to see if you have any cool opinions about the new update i personally think it's going to be really cool to start having arithmetic and more numbers in the game uh currently in this build there aren't really any ways to do logic in that kind of way without binary but now we're going to completely move away from that kind of computer stuff and now we're just going to have numbers and all that which will be super cool like you're going to be able to take desmos programs and just put them in trail makers it's going to be amazing you can make like you'll you'll be able to make range finders uh seeking missiles like all kinds of cool stuff a bot that knows where it is like coordinates like this will be a such a cool update and i'm so ready for it it's gonna be hard to stay on top of the technological advancements because there's just so much new stuff these the logic system has basically been the same for the whole six years i've been playing it it's just gonna be it's gonna be crazy. This cave section is really tough. Come on. So close. Almost out of the cave. There we go. Also, if you were wondering how he tells how steep a slope is, it's based off the two speed sensors on the back and how often they're on and off. All right, here it is. The very end to prove that this trail bot can make it. And I've done it. Well, that's about it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. And thank you for watching all the way to the end. Peace.